Today we're going to be going out with a group of local enthusiasts and we're going to be trying to find some wild chestnuts. And this is the type of area where enough of them have survived that we actually might be able to find some wild pollinated chestnuts, which is incredibly rare. For those of you who don't know, my name is Jamie Van Cleef and I am the Southern Regional Science Coordinator with the American Chestnut Foundation. Our foundation has a mission to restore a disease-resistant American chestnut back to its native range. This is no small task, so I really thank every single one of you guys for coming out today. This is a huge effort. Well, I think everybody has a memory of chestnuts and chestnut trees. I know all mountain people do. The chestnut tree was just this magnificent giant of a tree. The fruit that it bared, the chestnut itself, was one of the most important foods for wildlife and for mankind. This tree was as much a part of our national story as the Liberty Bell or the Bald Eagle. The American chestnut was more important than any of us can really imagine. We don't really have a clue of what it was like to have an entire forest floor littered with this mountain of calories. We've been able to kind of get such a variety of people. We've gotten, you know, younger kids who are excited to get into the woods and help improve it. I learned that you cannot touch the chestnuts because they're very spiky. It's kind of a challenge for scientists, but uh, I have faith in the integrity and permanence of the chestnut tree. It has pulled at the heartstrings of you know, famous people who found the story kind of uplifting and inspiring enough to give support. You don't want something so great that's such a part of your whole heritage and your whole background to be gone. The stark choice we face is either embrace this cutting-edge science and use it wisely or bid our native forests goodbye. And I think they now have really done such a good job growing these new trees, they're going to start replenishing all those places. And that's going to be wonderful to have those back in place and growing. To see the work that's going on to bring that tree back and see the success that has occurred, it's, it's just very, very exciting. Are you a life force? Thinking about it every day on my mind, a typical way. Are you a life force? Thinking about it every day on my mind, a typical way. All of biology stays with the species. Species by species is how we're going to save life on this earth, and we're going to do it.